here is Volta. And I am currently using a Volta world that we are actually about to set up to public, which is um, kind of more of an AR style world. So instead of me being in a 3D world, you can see that it looks very much like um, my normal video capture. Um, but you can do things like, let's see, you can do things like, you know, uh, make yourself trippy psychedelic dot person like that. Um, you can create trails that emanate off of just you in a real scene here. Um, you can control and change the background. So you can see as I'm, as I'm changing these sliders here, different aspects of the content are, is, uh, is changing with me. And so um, the first thing that, that I'm going to do is just give you a, a little rundown of what Volta is. So Volta is mixed reality um, uh, creation and performance software. And it's aimed at musicians and particularly uh, aimed at live streaming. So as you can see, I can do all of these really cool three-dimensional audio reactive effects um, using this, this world that we've pre-made and we've exposed a number of parameters like, uh, you know, like uh, these trails and these, and these dots. So when you first open up Volta, what you'll actually see uh, you'll actually go through a, a, a quick onboarding process, but then what you'll see is a number of different what we call play packs. And a play pack is just a series of 3D audio reactive Volta worlds. And so if I, for example, click on another one, I'm not going to save my world here, you'll see it actually puts me inside of a different 3D world. So if I click on this button here, you'll see that I've switched camera angles and I'm switching a bunch of different camera angles. And you can also see that as I talk, the content is, is reacting to, to my voice, to the audio. You can do things like, in this world, control the level of saturation. The, there's this kind of shaking effect that we added to it. You can even make things like hearts appear uh, inside the world, make the world glitch. Um, and then let's say you know you've you've done some aspect of your performance and you want to uh, you want to move to a new Volta world, also while still part of the same performance, you can actually go to this little icon here in the play panel, and this is where you see all of your Volta worlds, and you click on another Volta world, and here I am in another Volta world in the same play pack, and now if I go back over to the play panel, which is you get to via this little icon here, you can see that I have a few different, uh, different options for customization. So for example, this slider will make the world blue. This one will take that grid, that 3D grid in the back and make it bigger or smaller. Um, there's more glitching effects. Um, I can change the the uh, camera angles, which you can also see your list of camera angles if you click on this little icon here, but that's available to you. This is, uh, that's available to you here as well as being able to switch worlds is available to you in the play panel. And I can control in this, in this case, the audio sensitivity by this slider. The reason why that's important is if you want the, the content of the world to be much more audio reactive, but you don't want to raise the, uh, the, the volume of your audio because, because you want to have a consistent level playing throughout. This allows you to have more native uh, reactivity, more audio reactivity without, um, without changing the amount of input volume coming in or output volume going out. Um, so so th those are two aspects of the play panel, um, world switching, camera angles, uh, and then, you know, the various options that are exposed and really easily accessible here. But then what you can do is if you see these other two, um, these other two panels here, if I click on this one, this allows you to record video straight out of Volta. So if I click start recording, it's now actually recording that video. Um, it's all rendering in real time. So once I click stop recording, it just takes a second to transcode and it's actually on my desktop now. So I've just made that video. 
Um, if I want to stream, we have our own built-in streaming solution. So I can click on this panel here, and you can say you can see it says configure stream or share output. If I want to use our native built-in streaming solution, I can go to configure stream, and then it actually opens up our settings. And you can see right now it's just giving me a custom resolution box, custom uh, frames per second, and video and audio bit rates, as well as stream keys and stream URL um, options. Or if you click on the drop down here, excuse me, um, you can see we have a number of presets. So Twitch, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, um, 4K video, HD video, and with any of the social platform ones, uh, it already has the stream URL. You just need to add your stream key. And Twitch is actually a little bit different. You can actually log into Twitch within Volta. Um, and I'm going to uh, show you why you would want to do that in a little bit. So um, if you click on this drop down here and you go to Edit Playpack, you'll actually switch over to the editor creator side of Volta. And here you'll see a lot of like many more options. 